Hey, I'm Chad Hardy. Hey, I'm Harrison Overby. We both work with Elite Truck and we deal with a lot of C-Tech stuff. Today we're going to be going over how to take the proper measurements for your C-Tech unit and then how the different install points work and how you can also avoid hazards when taking your measurements. Um, whenever you place an order for one, whether you polish or not, we are going to want to measure, verify all measurements that we have. That's to make sure that the drawer unit you buy will work in any way that you need it to. This is a pretty standard single rear wheel reading body and things to look out for specifically on singles is the notching. Then also you want to look out for your latches here and also your springs for the door. When you take these measurements, you have to take into account the total width of the unit itself because the drawers are going to be frame mounted. So they have to be able to fully extend as that width that you're telling us will work. So if you have 21 inches, but there's a little latch there, then you need to probably shrink it to 19 and a half, maybe 20, depending on the size of it. When doing the notch measurements, you want to start from the floor and go up and then cut back in. But when you're doing depth, you want the deepest point. Another big thing is when you are measuring the depth, you don't want to come all the way to the back wall here. You want to make sure that you paint enough space for your latch on the inside of the door. So usually we recommend to cut it maybe about a half inch, inch in, and then we'll be able to go from that and we'll be able to shut and close freely. We are going to go in and subtract measurements, usually about a half inch increment from the top, the depth, and the width. And that's all just per C-Tech to make sure that we don't run into any fitment issues if we can avoid it at any cost. There are some other bodies that we do have to work with a little bit differently, like for example, CMs. Their interior latch sticks in roughly about an inch, so we do have to subtract the depth from there to make sure that it will fit properly. So when we submit these files to you, we're gonna send you a form that has a detailed drawing of a service body box. So the measurements that are needed are pretty, pretty easily to see and the fact of the matter is, is all the things that Harrison just talked about has to be taken into account. So do you want to go ahead and we'll pull some measurements and yeah. they can check it out. So the form will be listed, listed showing measurements A, B, C, and D. Mm -hmm. So you basically just get us those measurements so we can get it built out for you. So if you can see here where he's got the tape measure at the very back of the box, and he's measuring to the inside of the door frame. So we're looking at about what, 12 and a half inches on that one? Roughly 12, and this is B. And then we're taking into account, again, that locking pin. Make sure measurements will work for that. And overall height of the door. So when you're measuring overall height of the door, you're doing door opening to door opening. You're not measuring to the floor to the top, you're measuring door opening to door opening. Mm -hmm. Or in this case, taking into account that door spring that is there. And now he's taking the measurement for the riser. We've got that measurement. We're going to pull the height of our notch, which will be listed in detail in the bottom of that form. And now he's on the depth of the notch. Here, after adding all of those things together, we have all the measurements needed for us to create the drawer system. And as he stated earlier, we will shave a little bit of measurements off just to ensure fitment. We'll give you a guideline on what to look for for the approval. And we will also provide you with a drawing of the unit before it goes into production for you to see it in 3D uh, rendering. All right, we've moved down in two boxes in the truck. And we've got a unit that's already installed here and just wanted to show you off the beauty of the C-Tech unit first off, but then secondary show you the box in use. Um, the way these boxes are mounted, there's three different mounting points in it. All units come with a telescoping shelf on the top where they can be bolted into the sides of the boxes. There's mounting brackets in the back of the unit, which is where the drawer is showing you how easily the drawer can be pulled out, as well as the feet. So those are three main mounting points on the unit. Hopefully that clears it up for, for how to mount these drawer systems. So as we were talking about earlier on the measuring of these boxes, there are hazards that come into play with different service bodies. This is a good example because we have our locking pin right here that comes into play. So as you can see, the door opening, we have room to come out another two inches safely. However, that locking pin messes us up because it is a absolute measurement of the system. So if you look right here, with the way this box has been measured, that locking pin just barely misses the drawer. Therefore, if we go any wider with this system, this drawer system will not work because it would be stopped by that locking pin. So just something else to take into account as we explained on that side of hazards for these boxes. Thanks for joining us. We'd be happy to help you get your C-Tech units rolling. If you have any questions, you can contact us at 855-919-2087 or you can send us your phone. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. 
you want us to get a CTAC unit rolling? You can contact us at 855-919-2087 or reach out to us at sales at elitetruck.com.